Have you ever dreamed of setting a world record? For sure. Well, there is a Forest Lake man who's going to try to beat the Guinness World Record for the largest stack of casino chips. Reporter Kristen Hobrick headed to Canterbury Park in Shakopee to show us all the action. Hey guys, today is all about Travis Stitch. He's a Forest Lake man with, get this, already three Guinness World Records under his belt. Now, many of us might just throw in the towel and head to retirement at that point, but not Travis. Today, he is going to attempt this. Take a look. He is stacking the highest single column of poker chips without them crashing down. But what's fun is that Travis has some help from his family and his friends. He's got five kids. Four of his kids are here today to help him out to achieve this, which is part of the rules. You can have a, a team event going on. Now, there is no time limit, so Travis can really get comfortable with this and take his time. And as the stack gets taller, we've all played Jenga. We know it can get real dicey as the column goes up and defies gravity. So when it gets to that point, he's going to have everyone else step aside and then he's going to take over. Now, the number to beat is 201. The previous record's at 200, so he's got to get to at least 201 chips before they come crashing down. And as it gets taller, he's going to have to stand back and let the column stand for 10 seconds without crashing down. Now, Travis is no stranger to all of this, the poker chips, the cards, because he is a professional poker dealer here at Canterbury Park. His previous world records have to do with accuracy of throwing cards. He actually has the title of the most accurate card thrower. Guys, get this in the world. You don't want to go up against him. But to give you an idea, he's got this set up for the kiddos here where they have to stand behind a line and try to throw cards <laughs> into that little circle circle area into those buckets and he was able to do this his past Guinness World Record he was able to do 54 cards so a deck is 52 he did a whole deck of cards plus two more without missing it was pretty incredible but as I said the name of the game today is all about stacking those poker chips so we're going to continue to keep an eye on his progress let you know how he does and we're also going to tell you about a charity all the proceeds today are going to a special charity that you're want to hear about so we'll check in with y'all a little bit later in the show oh my gosh how high is that stack gonna get Chris? i used to play a lot of poker really and i love stacking poker chips and then there's like this shuffle thing that the good poker players can do where they shuffle the poker chips two stacks side by side yeah and then you bring your fingers around and then they k -k 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 into each other it's no. very satisfying well, I'm looking forward Lost to finding out more. Lost a ton of money. <laughs> Still paying for doing some strange things. We think it's cool. There's a Forest Lake man attempting to grab a Guinness World Record for stacking the largest column of poker chips. We're going to check back in with TCL reporter Kristen Hobrick to see the progress at Canterbury Park. You know, I'm five foot, but I'm wearing heels, and uh, this stack is close to passing me up any second now. Back again with Travis Stitch. He's about to lay chip number... 301. 301. So Coming you up. have surpassed the baseline, the yes. record previous. Yep. So that was 201. It was. You've got yeah. 100 more chips. And this is almost, this is past three feet up because we're on a little table here. It is, yeah. Okay, well, I'll let you continue. All right. That's but uh, what do you think you're going to get to? It, in practice, <laughs> it can fall at any time oh. here. So I've gotten close to 400. Wow. Um, I and hope I, to get up to there. Yeah, I'm not we'll going to sneeze. See. I'm going to we'll keep see. my distance. Yeah. 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 Um, so I got to ask about why poker chips, why the cards? Yeah. I know you're a professional poker dealer. I am. So this is your realm. Yes. Is that right? It is. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I just, my kids a couple years ago kind of pointed out I didn't have any hobbies other than <laughs> work and, and poker. Uh, so. They encouraged me, you know, I said I always wanted to beat a Guinness World Record, and they, they said, yeah, lightly encouraged me yeah, to, you can to do go it. for it. Yeah. Okay, so now with this, there's practice involved, yeah. but probably especially with the card throwing. Definitely. How often are you practicing for something like today? For something like today, you know, for the last couple of weeks, probably every day. Okay. Um, just because it was coming up. Um, yeah. Card throwing every day yeah. for the last couple every of years. Every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as you deal, 
when you're doing poker, you've yeah. probably seen some interesting stacks on the tables oh, with the customers that are coming in. Very yeah. elaborate <laughs> stacks. The, the things that some of the players do out there with stacks are, is incredibly oh creative. They, oh I think some of them could build a house out of poker oh, chips if sure. they wanted to. Yeah. So let's talk about the charity. All the money raised today is going to Camp Casey. Yes. What is that all about? Yes, it's a, a camp for uh, kids with cancer okay. um, and their siblings to get away and be kids, kind of forget about other things going on in yeah, their lives. Yeah, just play and have fun. Exactly. And yep. is it in the Detroit Lakes area? It is, yes. Okay. Yep, they've been, gosh, over 20 years. Yep, yep, yeah. yep they've been. 30, wow. Over 30, over 30 years. Long yeah, gosh. Time. Yep, wow. yep, yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. so. And what strategy? I mean, do you try to not breathe too much as you're doing this? I saw you evening them out. Just yeah. To keep yeah. that column straight. We're up almost and down. at the point now where I can't even straighten them because it's so tipsy. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, try to keep my hands steady. Yeah, the steady. The coffee is. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> that's a much. good point. Yeah, yeah. And this is special today because you're surrounded by family and friends, which you didn't otherwise have in your past uh, Guinness World Record attempts. Right, right. Yeah, of course they were there to watch, but. Um, I've kind of been building up to this, you know. I wanted to, to involve my family and yeah. my kids and friends. You get a whole cheering club. Yeah, hopefully this is the first of many group records sure. that I, I want to do with them. I think everyone's going to want to sit at your table because oh. now you might have. You, well, you do. You've got another record under your belt. Yeah, we do. You know what? And I'm going to pause real oh, quick. Oh, he's going to pause. Yeah. Okay. I believe we're at 3:21. 3:21. So and we're going to let the it. clock run. It needs to stand for 10 seconds. So. Okay. How tall is she? And. This is just because Guinness requires a measurement. We're yeah. at 41 and one half inches Woo! at the moment. Congratulations, Thank my you. friend. Thank we kind of want to see this fall now that he's got the <laughs> record. So I don't No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to resist. But uh, you guys, you never know. You could just go on the Guinness World Records site and see what strange things that you could try and accomplish on there. Who knows? It had to happen at some point. I can't believe he let her stand in. that close. Yeah. No kidding. I mean, I was like, what if she accidentally knocked it over? She's like a live wire, too. You never know what she's going to well, do next. Well, that's the truth of the matter. She could have gotten startled. 340 chips was how high he got that. Congratulations. Go. World record holder. That was really awesome. For more information on Guinness World Records, head over to TwinCitiesLive.com.